going to Virginia now to talk to Al about something. Hey, Al, thanks for calling. You are live. Thank you, sir. Um, I have a question. Um, well, a story anyway. Um, a couple of months ago, because of diabetes, they they cut off all my toes on my right foot. Now, Ouch. that foot now is swollen, and it's yeah. been swollen for the last four months. Yeah. And my doctor took some tests and said that uh, my kidneys, well, there's protein in my urine, and I'm wondering if that if there is if there's a connection with that. Yeah, there is a connection. It means your doctor's an idiot. Are you type one or type two diabetic? Type two. For how many years? Oh, I guess now it's been about 12 years. Okay. So, you know, it's a bad metaphor, and the metaphor breaks down. But if, if your automobile needed, you know, eight quarts of oil, but it only had half a quart of oil, it would run, but it would run poorly. It would start to overheat, and all kinds of funky things would start to happen. Then you'd get pistons that would break, and it's all just a function. You didn't have enough oil in the, in the, in the, in the engine. Nothing mechanically wrong with the engine. It wasn't like the, the metal that they made it from was defective or they didn't put the nuts and bolts in the, the right way. It's the, you just ran out of oil. Well, in 1957, there was a doctor, an MD, named MERS, M-E-R-Z, I think, or M-E-R-T-Z, M-E-R-T-Z, I think, M-E-R-T-Z. He proved that type 2 diabetes could be turned on or turned off by manipulating levels of the mineral uh, chromium in the diet of laboratory mice, chromium. And then our clinical experience shows that when your body runs out of certain nutrient minerals like chromium and vanadium and weird things like europium and hafnium and all these trace minerals you've never even heard of before, but I've heard of them, when your body runs out of these things, it stops being able to metabolize blood sugar efficiently. We've had thousands of people. I'm not exaggerating. Thousands of people who have had type 2 diabetes before they got on board with our program, they got on board with our program, and guess what? Now they have normal blood sugars. Now, because of the way that the Food and Drug Administration is and because of the pariahs uh, that the pharmaceutical industry are, we are not able to say that we can cure it. For goodness sake, we don't even say that we treat type 2 diabetes. We don't. But what we do is support and promote the structure and function of human beings' bodies and allow them to optimize uh, their function the way that God intended. And 99.99% of the time, when you do it our way, your blood sugars will optimize their function and normalize. Now, the reason that, you know, your toes are starting to go and now that your feet are starting to go and then it's going to be your legs and then it's going to be your hands and your fingers, it ain't going to stop, man, is because... You know, the engine of your body, so to speak, has run out of the oil that it needs, and it's starting to break down, and it's going to go from bad to worse, man. And your MD has nothing for you besides surgery and drugs and surgery and drugs and metformin and insulin and more designer drugs. Can't wait till the next designer drug, Al, comes along that's going to save your life. Well, guess what? You're going to be waiting a very, very, very long time, which is why we encourage you to fire your medical doctor now. So in order to... Get on the other side of this. What you need to do, you would be wise if you got on board with a, a science-based, clinically verified medical nutrition program that gave your body the raw materials necessary for it to optimize its function and then see what the heck happens. Now, I love helping people with type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure, either or or both, because those things are easily measurable from home. You don't have to spend a hundred bucks to get a, an expensive, fancy schmancy lab test. You measure your blood sugars every day. I know that you do. And if you have a blood pressure cuff, if you had, you know, high blood pressure, you measure your blood pressure. It's easy. Anybody can do it. It's very, very easy. So the recommendation here for 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 you, for starting today, I would get a notepad and I would make columns, you know, different dates and different times twice a day. I want you to measure your blood sugars. And rather than just keeping the blood sugar measurements in the computer of the system that measures your blood sugar, which most people do, I want you to actually write the numbers down on a graph so you can have a visual representation of how the numbers are going every day. 
So just start writing your blood sugar numbers down if you're not doing that already on a separate piece of paper. Put it on the refrigerator or someplace on your desk where you can see it easily. Because as you start this program, if you choose to, what you will see, and I don't know how long it will take, man. It will take two weeks. It will take four weeks. It will take six weeks. It will take eight weeks. It might take 72 hours. I don't know. Your blood sugar numbers will start to come down, and numbers don't lie. Not when you look at them like this. So it's very important that you uh, have an understanding, an objective understanding of what your blood sugar numbers are. Because if my program works and your blood sugars start to normalize, you're going to have to mess and change the dose of the meds that the MDs gave you. You're going to have to modify that down, either on your own or with a pharmacist's help or with an MD's help, right? Because as your blood sugar numbers start to come down, you're going to need less and less of the medication. And let's make no bones about it here, man. The intention of science-based, clinically verified medical nutrition uh, is to get you so healthy that you can have optimal, healthy blood sugar without medication. The goal here is to make you so darn healthy you can stop taking your prescription meds because you just won't need them. And the prescription meds, as already evidenced by the lack of your toes, isn't really helping you that much because if it was, you'd still have your toes, all right? So what's your current body weight, Al? 200 pounds, but I stopped right. taking the meds already. Well, I don't know that that's a good idea. Are you taking any of the supplements? Are you taking our supplements yet? Yes, I am. The Sweeties, I'm taking the BTT, uh, the Calcati, um Okay, how long are you doing that? Uh, off and on about a month. Okay, and how I'm many... Starting to get, starting to get I'm what? I'm just getting the auto ship, the auto ship thing yeah. together. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it does. It takes a while to figure this out, right? It takes a couple months for people to get on board with, you know, how much do I order and what can my budget afford and how long does it take for the stuff to get here? And, it, you know, there's a little bit of a learning curve here. How many sweeties have you been taking? Um, I've just finished a bottle. All right. So my recommendation... It's me about a month. All right. So my recommendation for you would be eight sweeties a day. So you need two bottles a month, two bottles of sweeties a month. What would be better for you for three months would be three bottles of sweeties a day, take 12 a day. For three months. I mean, you, you don't have your toes anymore, man. You've got bad blood sugar issues. I mean, you've got bad blood sugar issues, right? So it would be worthwhile going overboard for a couple of months rather than not taking enough because we're really trying to, to generate a strong, positive metabolic response here. So if you can afford it, if it's in the budget, I would do two healthy blood sugar packs a month two healthy blood sugar packs a month, and one extra bottle of Sweeties a month. Two healthy blood sugar packs a month and one extra bottle of Sweeties a month. Um, that would be my optimal plan. Plan B would be one healthy blood sugar pack a month, two bottles of Sweeties, two bottles of Sweeties, and two bottles of Selenium. Two bottles of Selenium, two bottles of Sweeties, and one healthy blood sugar pack a month. Either way, I want you taking 12 sweeties a day for 90 days, and you must – have you cleaned up your diet, man? Have you stopped eating those 10 bad foods? Have you done that yet? Yes, sir. All right. You're my new best friend, Al. I mean, that's – how. And was that easy or hard for you to do? Be honest. Uh, it just took some mental adjustment. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? I mean, yeah, uh, uh, it does take mental adjustment. But one of the good things that, I don't know, it happens to me and it happens to most people that do this, once you've been on this train for more than four, five, six weeks, you know, you've eliminated wheat, barley, rye, and oats, oil in a bottle, fried food, and et cetera, when you fall off the wagon, you know, you're at a birthday party or you're at somebody's house for dinner and all they have is fried food or they have dinner rolls and you just can't help yourself, right? When you eat the stuff and fall off the wagon, you feel like crap after you eat it. And so this diet ultimately becomes a self-fulfilling diet. 
because when you don't eat the stuff, you feel better, and when you eat the stuff, you feel worse. So if you do fall off the wagon in the future, uh, just be mindful of how it makes you feel. But we really need to dial in the blood sugar numbers here. And uh, honestly, Al, I think for you, it's just going to be a function of time because it takes a while for your body to come around and start to fix this from the inside out, right? It's harder to fix something than it is just to band-aid it over. And that's what the MDs have been doing for you your whole life. They've just been band-aiding it over. So yeah, I would give the full program 90 days. Um, make sure that you measure your blood sugars every day and see what happens. Um, and I think time really is your best friend here moving forward. Um, that's all that I would recommend that you do. Does that sound good? Yes, sir, it does. But can I ask you one question? Yeah. Uh, the, the swelling. Um, if, if that's if if I'm, if I'm passing urine in my if I'm passing protein in my urine, this protocol you're giving me is going to stop that it or help it anyway. Yeah, it's going to help it anyway. The one of the things that you want to do to move that along is to add salt into your diet, and you might want to take a half of a lemon. Squeeze half of a lemon into some warm water and drink it at the beginning of every meal. Make sure you salt your food appropriately so that your body digests the protein that you're eating. As it digests the protein that you're eating, there will be less of it in your urine and there will be less of swelling in your legs. So more salt and a little bit of digestive help will help you move down the road, Al. Thanks for the call.